and Mrs. North, starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning. Just a minute, Rika. Yes, Sahib? How do I know those rubies are on the level? You don't, Sahib. But the wealthy one from your city of New York has done business before with Rika. Thanks for reminding me I'm just a messenger boy. OK. It's not my money. No, Sahib. It is now mine. Police! Open up! He doesn't see you with me. Why don't you open a hand laundry, Cass, and I could leave this stuff here with you and keep right on going. You did. You heard about the bad luck you had in Bombay, Todd. Yeah, you hear lots of things. Don't let it worry you. You better go in and have a talk with Dennis about it. I think you're expected. Well, you sent out here to tell me that? No. And the welcome was my own idea, too. <laughs> but I know just how much Dennis was counting on those rubies. Well, Muscles is going to have to do without them somehow. Look, baby. I got a bit of business to do. Important business. I need some time. What are you doing around four? Oh, I'll be showing some merchandise to a Mrs. Gerald North, 24 St. Anne's Place. Gerald North, 24 St. Anne's Place. Okay, I'll pick you up there. From then on, it'll be champagne for two. is an R.C. Dennis exclusive, Mrs. North, hand-woven for us in Calcutta. Jerry. Do you think this is me? Hmm? Yeah, what did you say to you? Do you think this is the real me? Well, now, uh... Oh, excuse me. Hello. Yes? Uh, one moment, please. It's for you, Miss Thorne. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, yes, Todd. Oh, all right. I'll be here for a while. Yes, I do. You know I do. Uh, that was my uh, a friend. Uh, he's a pilot. He just flew in from India this morning. India? Oh, how exciting, Jerry. Uh -huh. Oh, just think of the strange and wonderful places he gets to see. He's supposed to pick me up here. That call was to tell me he'd be a bit late. I hope you don't mind. Oh, of course not. Jerry. When Miss Thorne's aviator arrives, uh, why don't you whip up some of those, um, you know, the ones with the cherries? Oh, you mean Manhattan. That's right. Yeah. <sighs> Just think. India. Oh, theories. Bring him in. Bring him in. 
here. Hey, what's uh, the pitch? Hey, what's the idea, Dennis? This guy dragging me up here without a... Mark Simpson, all I want from you is a couple of straight answers. The aviator, Todd Ward, was in your place this afternoon, wasn't he? Don't stall me, son. I know he was. I had him tailed. Yeah? Yeah, that's right. He came by. It must have been about... About... About 20 minutes of three. And he left at five minutes past. Yeah? That's right, Dennis. <laughs> what was he trying to sell you? Well, you know I can't tell you that. Sure. I know, Simpson. You're a very ethical fence. Reese. Supposing I was to tell somebody about the stuff I handle for you all the time. You wouldn't be long for this world. Come on, you're wasting my time. Well, I can't squeal on Todd any more than I can on you. It'd be just like... Take uh, him, Reese. Scratch him up a bit. No! Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, not too much, Reese. Just enough to make him talk. Oh, he wanted me to quote a price on seven rubies. I'm checking on it, sir. It'll only be a moment. Well, hurry back, honey. I'll be waiting for you. Hello, Todd. Carl, you please keep your hands on the counter, Todd. Yeah, sure. What's the big idea? And Dennis has been waiting for you. It's all right. I'll come by a little bit later. No, you will come now. You'll be quiet. I see you, honey. I'll drop by the next time I'm in town. But I, I've got your reservations, Mr. Wallington. Two seats on the 10 o'clock plane for Rio. Don't you want to take them with you? Mr. Wallington will not be able to make it. You know, Mrs. North? Hmm? I wonder what's happened to Todd. Oh, oh, oh he'll be around. You know, I just can't make up my mind. <sighs> He's so enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to make up your mind, Todd. And I think you know I'm not celebrated for my patience. What do you want of me? I told you the Indian cop killed Rika before he could hand over the rubies. I was lucky to get out with my own skin. You're a good pilot, Todd, but a bad liar. I have friends in Bombay. Good friends. Rika had neither the money nor the rubies. Okay. Believe what you want to. I haven't got the rubies either. Bomber followed you from the airport this morning. You've been a busy young man, Todd. Shall I tell you what the fence Simpson told me? Or uh, perhaps you'd prefer to start with why you were buying airspace for Rio under the name of Wallington. Okay. I've got the rubies. I'll make a deal with you. No deals. This is a good one. The money or the rubies. Take your choice. Well, I deserve something for getting them over here. You'll get what you deserve. Search him, Bomber. Todd Ward. That's right. My girl here? Well, she certainly is. Won't you come in? Thanks. Hi, baby. Sorry I'm late. I ran into a couple of friends. Todd, this is Mr. and Mrs. North. How do you do? How about a drink, pal? Well, I'll go out into the kitchen and stir up something. Uh, would Manhattan's be good for all concerned? I mean... Uh... Manhattan's will be fine, dear. Miss Vaughn has told us so much about you, Mr. Ward. Got a little drink? <laughs> Nervous, some people. What's the matter? My friend showed up. Dennis? And company. Excuse me, 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, uh, yours must be quite an interesting profession, Mr. Ward. Yeah. Full of laughs. And Manhattans. How do you feel? Like I was flying without wings. How about another drink? Oh, sure. I'm sorry I'm clumsy. Yeah, happens to the best of us. I'll get a towel and clean it up. Legs are wobbly. Hey, we've had about enough from you. Jerry, I'm no. Sorry, pal. I... We better call an ambulance. Take your hands off of me. What did you want to see me about? Well, what are you doing? Searching. What do you think I'm doing? You two boys go and admire the scenery. Hold still, you little fool, or you won't look so pretty. Okay. You might have asked me. I would have told you if I had the rubies. I'm on your side. Oh, sure. I'll get your uniform. Have you any idea what your boyfriend did with them? Well, you know Todd is at the hospital because you followed us. Well, while he was unconscious, I went through his clothes. Nothing. He's got them stashed someplace. But the doctor said he'll be out in a few days, so you could... Uh... Okay, okay. Whose side were you on at the hospital? I told you. Never mind. When he left my office, he had those rubies. If I can believe you, that means he must have hidden them at the North's apartment. Would I lie to you? You might. But you wouldn't get away with it, dear. Tell me, when Todd was at the North apartment, did he move around much? He was never out of the living room. Good. Good. That simplifies matters. What did you say, darling? I said Marta's aviator's a very handsome man. Well, handsome is as handsome does, my great Aunt Matilda always used to say. <laughs> I remember your Aunt Matilda. She was a great one for cliches. Yeah, well, cliche or no cliche, this one happens to be in point. What do you mean? Well, that stabbing business. What do you make of it, dear? I don't know. And even Marta didn't have the answer. Well, Todd himself wouldn't talk, even in the ambulance. Oh, it's a mystery, all right. A man doesn't get knifed for no reason at all. Could have been done by a jealous husband. Yeah, possibly. Hey, now, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> Get to bed, Jerry. <laughs> I heard it. All right, all right. Who is it? Marta Thorne, Mr. North. I have to see you. Marta Thorne? Hey, what is this? Who are these people? Uh, my apologies, Mr. North, uh, Mrs. North. I am R.C. Dennis, Martha's employer, and uh, these gentlemen are my associates. I uh, realize that this is a, uh, a most unseemly hour, but uh, my business is, is very urgent. If you don't mind, these furnishings are not being offered for sale. Oh, no, of course not. Uh, I shall state my business, Mr. North. In brief, Todd Ward, the gentleman you entertained this afternoon, is in possession of a very valuable property. Uh, my property, sir. In other words, he's a thief. Well, after all, this isn't the police department. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Will you kindly lower your voice? Uh, you don't seem to understand, Mr. North. This is a very private matter, not one for the police. However, as an honest citizen, I'm sure you wouldn't want to retain something that is rightfully mine. But I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, then I shall enlighten you. I am referring to the seven sacred rubies of Anchor Watt. Anchor who? <laughs> Anchor Watt. The fabulous lost city of India. Rather a feeble jest at such an untimely hour. But believe me, Mr. North, I'm very serious when I say I must have those rubies. How can you stand to associate with these people, Marta? They're obviously responsible for Todd's being nice. You talk too much, lady. Maybe I should... Hey, wait a minute! How easy. Don't worry about Marta, dear. If the girl has any talent at all, I'm sure it's on the side of enlightened self-interest. I'm surprised at you, Marta. Todd Ward is such a fine, decent yeah, young man. Let her say it. All of a sudden, I'm a heavy. Todd Ward got what was coming to him. Look, I found this under the couch. The rubies. Now, Mr. North, can you deny that you have the seven rubies? I can. And I can tell you something else. If you're not all out of here in one minute, I'm going to call the police. Hey, mister. You are not calling anyone, Mr. North. Search the place, and I mean search it. Oh, stop it! Now, just a minute! Oh! oh, oh you. Shut up! Search the bedroom in the bath, Reese. Try the kitchen. Don't miss a thing. Hold it, Mr. North. Persistent, isn't it? All right, answer it. Wait a minute. Reese, stand behind her. If she talks out of turn, cut the connection. And I don't mean the phone. Just a minute, Mr. North. Hello? Oh, hello, Mother. Uh, Mother? No, no, this is Bill Wigan. Now, listen, Pam, I just noticed on the police blotter that an ambulance was sent up to your apartment. What was the matter? I'm sorry we weren't able to meet you at the airport. Airport? What airport? Why, LaGuardia Field. Uh, from the looks of things, we won't be able to meet you at all. Goodbye. Now, hello. Hello. I didn't like that conversation. It might mean most anything. And if it did... 
either one of you make a move, I'll kill you both. Now take him to the door and make sure he doesn't do anything foolish. And remember, Mr. North, your wife stays here with me. You better go, Jerry. Who is it? Telegram for Gerald North. Tell him to shove it under the door. Uh, push it under the door. Yes, you've got a sign for it. Step back. And turn around. I said turn around. Baby, I know you're in with Dennis and the boys. But I... Shut up! I'm the one that's running the show from now on. I... I... Oh, this gun should convince you whose side I'm on. Uh. Todd's. So maybe he doesn't believe me because I searched his clothes in the hospital. But Todd, believe me now. I'm on the level. It was Dennis who tried to cross you up. I don't know. Cosh, no. Marta's worked for me ever since you've known her. The only thing honest about her is her last name. If you tell her where those rubies are, we'll all be holding the bag. Except it will be empty. Todd, don't listen to her. Everything about her is a lie. I'll stick with you forever. Do you love me? All the way. All right. The rubies are in a bottle of cocktail cherries. Then I know where they are. Keep them covered. Here they are. Now, Mrs. North, tell me where that door leads to. You're not going to take the rubies. Of course I am. Do you think I'm going to leave these for those dirty crooks out there? What? Where are you going? I'm not going to let you get away with this. Swelling's nearly gone. You know, I think I could take you dancing tonight and nobody'd ever notice. Well, that's fine. <laughs> well, I have a surprise for you. Good. Did you see a paper today? R.C. Dennis, Todd Ward, and that whole gang have been indicted. <laughs> it says here on page one that the oh. old. <laughs> oh, Jerry, I didn't know you were standing there. Oh, it's all my fault. What was that surprise you were telling me about? A sirloin steak. I was just getting ready to broil it. Well, never mind broiling mine. I'll wear it.
Mr. and Mrs. North is directed by Ralph Francis Murphy. A John W. Loveton production. Produced by Federal Telefilms. Starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning. Featuring Francis DeSales. This has been a film presentation.